it's your girl P. Welcome back to my first episode in, I don't know what I'm going to call this playlist, but something along the lines of me reviewing TV shows because y'all, oh my gosh, I have not watched a good chick flick in forever, forever. Like, I just, I haven't been on that, that romance and all that just has not been on my brain, on my mind can't even talk but my mom was telling me about the show so watch and she was like oh my gosh it's so good but I had she had been telling me I just didn't look at it but I finally did and it's called from scratch and it is on Netflix now I'm gonna read you what have the description of it and then we're gonna get into the tea okay Amy Willer, an American student studying in Italy, meets and falls in love with Lino, a Sicilian chef. When Lino faces health issues and the couple's future is threatened, the two families come together. Now let me tell you, I'm on season one, episode one. So it starts off with this girl, it seems like she had graduated, so maybe she's like in her, I think she was in law school at this point, but she just... She just needed to break away. She really wanted to get down with her passion of art and she got accepted into like a six week program in Italy. So her dad was pissed. He wants her to be in school. He is like that hard ass, strict ass Houston. <laughs> That's the best part. Hey, from Houston. Houston, country black dad that just wants his daughter to do good it seems like she came from an influential family and he just wants his daughters to go to school get good jobs like that kind of thing but amy is like her dreams is art like she went to school she graduated and she's in the law program but she just wanted to take some time off to go like study art in italy and her dad he just was not against that. And her parents aren't together anymore. Her mom is like free spirit. I think I'm going to like her mom. She seems a little more just like free spirit and stuff like me. Um, and then she has a sister who... Shit, I like her sister's character. But anyways, she gets to Italy, right? And she is immediately introduced to this guy who's family owns like an art gallery and all this so like the big dog with the money and you know he wants to sweep her off her feet he's he's like one of those guys in my opinion I did get this off the rip like he got the money his family is you know they them people out there in Italy and he just feels like he can get whatever he wants because he has some money for it but she meets the Sicilian chef Lino and he dropped out of school to pursue his dreams of becoming a chef and his food y'all his food looking good like I wanted to get through that screen and tear that food up that food was looking good but <laughs> you know he's not no millionaire and doesn't have all this money but he got one thing about Lino is I feel like he gonna give that connection like that like that romantic love like here baby let me cook for you let me feed you put it in your mouth let me put it on you make that good passion Sicilian love like mm, like I could just feel that character so meanwhile the six weeks she's over there she's just going through challenges of man am I gonna break it off because she started I guess the guy wasn't officially her boyfriend not not Lino but the other dude but they were kind of like seeing each other. I think she broke it off with him for Lino. But then in the first episode, it's like, it leaves you off. Well, it's, I'm not trying to give a spoiler alert, so please go watch this stuff first. But it leaves, it left me off with the feeling that she was going to stay in um, Italy. Now, I don't know or not, but that's how it made me feel on the first episode. Like, Damn, is she gonna go back and go back to her life, go back to like her law school like her dad wants her to do and doing all this stuff or is she gonna like follow her heart and her dreams and she, you know she's gonna get her art discovered in Italy and she's gonna run off with Lino and he's gonna be a chef and she's gonna be a great artist and 
you could just tell it was like love at first sight kind of just like fall in love dreamy kind of deal and I'm just like oh fuck it just got me all intense and you know it leaves you feeling like romance is not dead like somewhere out there that should exist so I don't know do y'all think she gonna go with Lino y'all think she gonna stay do you think she's gonna leave and come back later in the season I don't fucking know but this is just Ooh, so exciting to sit and watch and just get all caught up and wrapped up in like girly feelings and stuff so if y'all are just needing a break and need to like get lost in like believe in romance again start this season follow it along with me so we can talk about it y'all all right comment below if y'all watched it comment below is she gonna stay with lino or is she gonna leave and miss out on what could have been i feel like you know in life, you sometimes you get caught up in these choices. It's like, do you stay? Do you follow your heart? Do you follow your brain? Do you follow what you think is right on paper? Do you really try to pursue your dreams and passions? Do you do what society thinks is right? And I feel like this show is just going to bring that message to people. So comment below what y'all think, okay? Okay. <laughs>